such a beautiful morning in Slovakia. Look at the high Tatra mountains. Totally clear sky. And I thought I would talk a little bit today about self-love. Everyone's probably heard um, people say how you have to learn to love yourself before you can love someone else. But what does that mean? How do you do that? What does it actually feel like and what does it look like? What stops us from, from loving ourselves? And from my experience, the answer to that question is guilt. You know, people make us feel guilty. And especially people we respect or who we love, there's always this basic narrative that we aren't good enough, that we're doing something wrong. And we believe it. And because we believe it, we, well, we don't like, we, we, we loathe ourselves sometimes. You know, we're trying, everyone is so afraid of being alone or not being liked. Basically, the fear is, is being alone, you know, not having love in our lives. And we're so afraid of this that we're even afraid to enter into relationships um, because we're afraid the person's not going to love us and it's going to prove that we're unlovable. And I bring this all up because I think it's a total misunderstanding of what love even is. Um, the starting point for self-love is simply knowing that you're not guilty. You're innocent. You're not guilty. There's nothing wrong with you. Okay? So when I say that, I mean... You know deep down that there's something about you that is just good. You know your goodness. And people have said you've done some terrible things or some things that they question or something about you or what you want isn't what somebody else wants you to, to want. Or maybe you don't even like what you've done yourself. You, you know, So what? You're not guilty. You made, maybe you made a mistake. Maybe it's an error in the past. Okay, And the only error that there can actually possibly be is acting without love. Okay? So, when you have some time on your own, or some quiet time, I would suggest that you find a spot, whether it's like this, <laughs> or whether it's in your bedroom, just lying still on the, on the bed for a little while, and you try to forgive yourself. Try not to think about what anyone's told you you're guilty of or anything like that. Um, feel your goodness within. Forgive yourself for whatever it is that you think you've done wrong. Because if you have guilt inside of you, you're never going to know what self-love is. And you're going to want to project that guilt to other people because we want to get rid of those bad feelings by projecting them onto other people. Like it's your, you're, you're, you guys are bad. You're the guilty party. I'm, I'm fine. Projection doesn't work. What works is to go within yourself and forgive yourself. Now, that fear of not being loved by, by people, that is undone by understanding the source of love. The source of love is within. You can feel what love feels like. Remember what, love's, what love feels like from your past, from your current situation. Who do you love? What does it feel like when you love someone? Can you turn that in on yourself? That same feeling. Can you turn that feeling of love toward yourself and unblock it by having no guilt? Can you feel the sunshine come through in your, in your body, in your heart, in your inner body? And now... If you can do this, even for a moment, you understand that you don't necessarily need other people to get love, to have love. You already have love within you. Right? So, in that case, now you can go about your life and you can, you know, you can connect with people, you can love people, you can meet people, you can... Be honest about who you are and what you need. 
and not worry about losing love. You're always going to have love because you know the source of love. Now you're, you're in a stronger position. Now you're much more attractive in every sense, whether it's romantic or whether it's friendship or whether it's, um, you know, high, at work or where, whatever. People will love you when you learn to love yourself because you have a certain confidence about you. And the only way to love yourself is to forgive yourself, to know that you're not guilty of anything. To know it fundamentally, you have every right to want whatever you want. Your journey, your life journey is yours. Whatever happened in the past, whatever needs to happen, whatever inspires you, you have every right to do it. You're not guilty. It's a journey you're, you're taking. Try not to harm other people, hurt other people. But doing what you want to do, despite someone else telling you not to, is not hurting another person. Being who you are, despite someone else disapproving of you, is not hurting another person. That's just you living your journey. And you have every right to do that. Do you feel some sense of love for yourself? And can you forgive? Can you forgive? Can you let go of guilt and shame? You have nothing to be ashamed of.